I checked out this low-cost wireless Android Auto wireless Apple CarPlay display unit in a previous video. It works great for the price and totally portable. If you look closely, there is a video in port, but it's not mentioned anywhere in the instructions what it can be used for. There is also no software buttons or functions that would activate the viewing of anything plugged into this port. But it turns out it does work. And I'll show you what I did to get a reverse backup camera functioning on this cheap device. First, be aware that there are many similar display units for sale online that look similar to this, but this is my experience from the one I bought at Timu. They sell this on AliExpress, and there's also other multimedia display players out there that do the same thing. It all depends on if the firmware was written to take advantage of this port. So just because it works on this one, there's no guarantee it'll work on any other one that looks similar. The box has no branding, and the only model number I could make out was on this sticker on the top corner that says A 3135. The instruction manual says it's a T86 MP5. The firmware on the display shows 2022-09-12 with a configuration version of M28 CPA PAAMC V200B, whatever that means. For this unit, I happen to have an extra rear view camera from a rear view digital mirror and it worked fine when I hooked it up. I have a two channel digital rear view mirror drive cam and it came with this extra 2.5 millimeter jack rear camera. I plugged it in and hooked up the reverse trigger wire to my reverse lights. When I put it into reverse, it triggers the screen to view the rear view camera with backup guidance lines. This is exactly how a normal rear view backup camera works. Remember there's no software switch on the user interface, so triggering this with a 12 volt is the only way to get the display to switch over to view the camera. Taking it out of reverse brings it back to the normal interface. So I I picked up an extra rear view camera on eBay to use on this portable display. Be aware that it has to be a specific type and it seems like it needs to be a 4 pin 2.5 millimeter AHD meaning analog high definition streaming camera. I tried splicing in my existing CVBS camera into a 2.5 millimeter pigtail according to the pinout but it would not take the signal. It switches over to the video in display port but it shows no video. There's also a 5-pin HD camera out there, and it should work because that extra pin is for the LED lights. But I didn't try that one. If you want to try and see if the port activates, and you have an extra 2.5 millimeter jack pigtail laying around, you could tie the 5-volt wire that powers the camera to the reverse trigger wire. 5 volts was enough to trigger the display to view the input port. Obviously, there will be no video, but you will see if it's programmed to make the switch. Do this at your own risk, as doing it wrong might short-circuit the device and cause damage. If you want to mount this permanently to your car, this is a great cheap little add-on. Just be sure to get the right camera.